Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well and learning lots from my YouTube videos. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to deploy Zen Server version 6.5 in VMware Workstation version 12 Pro. So before we can go with the installation part, let us first of all know what is about Zen Server and how to download the Zen Server image from the internet. So let us open the web browser. I use Chrome so I double click Chrome. So over here you have to open the website called zenserver.org. This is the main website of Zen Server. So it is a product from Citrix. So if you want to have the more understanding about this Zen Server, what is this all about, click on this about Zen Server. And now you can find all the features like in terms of core platform, management capabilities, scalable virtual infrastructure and all these features are being listed in this web page. So you can have much knowledge and you can even click on this technical FAQ that is called frequently asked questions in order to grab much information about this uh, Zen server. So in order to download you have to click on this click link that download. So over here you can find installers. So you can see that Zen Server 6.5 was released in January of 2015. So we have a one year old version, but uh, after since that we have no version which is being launched by Zen Server. Maybe they can launch it in the near future. So right now it is called the latest and the current version. So click over here in this link and after that you will find the Zen Server download ISO image will be downloaded to your operating system. So I will not click this because I've already downloaded it to my desktop. So here is the image. So right click over this image, click on properties. So it is about 575 MB of image. So I click OK and now let us fire up the installation part of the Zen Server using VMware Workstation Pro. So double click on VMware Workstation. So now I have to make uh, the Zen server so let us click on this create a new virtual machine click next and now I have to grab the installer file so click on this installer disk image file so click browse so over here we have the desktop that is Zen server 6.5 so click open it will say could not detect with operating system in this disk image so there is no need to worry click next and now you have to find these options that is called guest operating system so we have windows linux novel netware solaris vmware esx other so click on this vmware esx and take the version vmware esx i5 so click on this next and if i want to give the name of this virtual machine i can take any name like called zen server 6.5 so here the location so I change the location to e colon slash virtual machine slash Zen server you can take any location or even the default location as per your customizations so click next <clears throat> So over here they will ask about what the storage capacity so the main maximum disk size is 40 GB so no need to change 40 GB is much enough for this to get installed and to work on so click next and click finish. So as you can see that it has taken the memory of 4 GB, processor is 2, hard disk 40 GB, so it is a heavy thing. So make it sure that you provide this much of capacity into this. So let us power on this virtual machine and I click on file, I click on full screen. So now you can see that the installation part, the boot skill, so let's press enter. So the text based booting up has been started. So installation of Zen server will not require very rocket science steps. It is just simple steps which are to be followed and you will find no problem in the installation. You can work easily. It's a very good, you can say, experience to install it. So it is detecting the hardware you can see on the screen. So now we are welcome with the welcome to Zen server version 6.5 copyright by Citrix system. So it is saying select key map that is called keyboard. So no need to change. I need the quality US which is I'm having my laptop with quality US. So it is OK. So I click tab and I press enter on OK. So it is saying welcome to Zen server setup. And if you have to back up the data, so I, there is no need. So I click OK and press enter. So this is about end user agreement. So if you want to read it, you can read, but it is not much. So I press tab, accept EULA and I press enter. 
So this is very important step. Which disk would you like to use for virtual machine storage? Now you have to see that the 40 GB storage is already been checked out, but I also need to have the thin provision in order to optimize it for Zen desktop. So I just press tab, I press space in order to check this, make it sure that it is checked, otherwise you will not find proper provisioning of this Zen server. So press tab and press enter on OK. So it is saying which installation media. So as you know that the ISO image is on my hard disk drive. So I don't need to have any HTTP or NFS that is called network file server. So I press tab and I click OK. So now this is called supplement packs. So if you have a supplement packs with you, so you can uh, use that supplement packs. Otherwise you can, uh, you can skip it with pressing no and press enter. So it is called the verifying the installation media. So I don't need to verify. So I skip verification and I press OK. So here we have to specify the password. So I harden a password and I confirm the password of mine. So I press OK. So here you find that you either you can put a static configuration or either DHCP. So I just need a minimal installation. So DHCP will be fine for me. So press tab and OK. So it is called hostname and DNS configuration. So it will manually specified. You can even change this Zen server hyphen CK and Z whatever it is. So you can just press tab and press OK. So it is saying the geographical area. So I'm living in India. So I go over to Asia and press OK. And after that, I have to search my city. So it is called Calcutta. So you can find another places also. So click OK. So using the NTP will be the local time. So it is OK with me. So this is called manual detail of NTP servers. So I press OK. And now I have confirmed that it has collected all the information regarding the Zen server. So I have to press tab and install the Zen server. So the installation has started. So till it installs, let us freeze the video for some time. So now you can see that the installation of Zen server has completed. So let us uh, press tab and press enter for OK for reboot of the system. So now you have seen that it is very simple to install. And now we will welcome with the front end interface of the Citrix server. So yes, it has installed properly. So it will take some time to boot. So till it boots, let us pause the video again. So now you can see that it has already booted up. So now, yes, so now it is called the front end interface of the Citrix and server. If you can see this front end, it means that it has installed successfully. So you can see the status display. It has device ETHO. It has granted the IP address, the network mask, the gateway. And if you go over this network and management interfaces and you can even go to these virtual machines, you can find everything, hardware and BIOS information, you can view this. So if you want to re review the processor, it is having i7-4702 system memory, it is having 4 GB local storage, BIOS information, so everything has been covered over here. So if you want to have the local sh command shell, so press enter over here and you have to give the password of root which we have set during the installation. So I come to this password and enter my password. So I press enter. Now you can see that the console is there. So let us give some command. So as you can see that the command is running properly. Yes, it has been running properly. So if you want to shut down, you can give the command that is called halt. So in this video, we have learned how to install Zen Server 6.5 using Virtual Workstation 12. So do give it a shot, do install it. See you in the next video.